Okay, in this video, I am going to show you how to restore a database. In the last video, I have showed you how to back up the database. Okay, now the perhaps database does exist here. I am going to delete it. Okay, giving you an example that how the database actually once deleted can be restored. Do not try this thing on a production server; it is very dangerous. Okay, this is a very simple simple example of backup and restore. Really, the restore and backup database is very complicated. Okay, you have to do a lot of hard work. Full database actually recovery takes a lot of time. It talks takes a lot of more than one person to do it. It has to be taken very done very carefully to bring the database online. Okay, so do not try the thing on the production server. Okay, try it at your home on your own home PC or drive it on some demo server. Okay, okay. Now it is asking me to delete the backup data, restore history information. I am going to select anyway. Okay, and it is going to delete the database. Delete deleting the database is the same as actually dropping the database. Okay, now the okay now the database has disappeared. Okay, as you can see, the database does no longer exist in the database list. Okay, now I will show you how to restore the database. Okay, right click on the database, say restore database, and it will restore the database. It will show you give you the name. It will give you a screen, and you have to enter the net database name. Okay, because there is no database, we cannot select it. I will show it to you how how is done. Okay, you type the name here in pubs. Okay, select from the device because we backed up to the device. We did not back up to the file. Otherwise, we would have selected it from the database. Okay, and select the device name. Okay, it says up the backup the media backup file media. I said backup to the device. I did not backup to the file. Okay, and I am going to click add. Okay. And this is the device that I backed it up to. I am going to click OK. Okay, now it is showing me the option from the device. Actually, I had backed up the full data, full backup on the that device, and had a differential backup. Okay, the full full database backup was a database pops up till the I created a table known as cast demo, and then I created a differential backup. If I restore the pops full database here. Only up to that extent, the full database with the cust cust demo da table that I created after it would won't be actually added to the pubs database. Okay, but I am going to recover the full database anyhow. Okay, I am going to show it to you how to recover the full database by pubs full database backup and pubs differential backup. Both are going to be restored, and the you will see the pubs database being created and the All the tables being getting generated again, okay. And there we are, okay. Now you can see that the pubs database has been added in the end, okay. And we there we have, we can see the tables be getting expanded. Okay, there you can see that the cast demo table is also there, okay. That's it. This is how the simple restore process I have shown it to you. In reality, the restore is very complicated, okay. but this is a good start okay i'll just end it here